So here we can see that this one has a lot of distance from the 6th to the 5th and from the 5th to the 4th not so much, then less, even less and more here, like it's all around. It's not exact measurements, same with this one here, which has just an inaccurate bridge. See from the 6th to the 5th shorter, from the 5th to the 4th longer, then from the 1st to the 2nd, and from the 2nd to the 3rd like that. So then here we have another bridge which has problems as well because of this thing. This is a lot of distance here and here a little bit. Just look this big, then short, then more. So this is all unequal, not even six walls drilling, straight six, six walls is happening. So then if we of course we analyze a bridge like this, then we see here what happens. Here is a lot of space from the 6th to the 5th, and from the 5th to the 4th, less, then here more, then less, then more. So it's all uneven walls are drilled inaccurate. So this cannot be taken as a first class guitar. It doesn't matter who, who or what is being said about them or how long they have been playing, but this is wrong. So the bridge has to be very accurate, distances from one string to another, very equal. Because that, of course, affects how you play it and the flow of the techniques, either with thumb, plus a poor stuff, rasgueos, or picado. So, thumb is also relevant here because distances, wider distances, are better. That I will post some relevant videos at the description. But the fact is that distances here in the bridge have to be very, very precise. Like, for example, on this blanket, on any guitar. First thing you have to to watch out is this that there are no difference or 
we have exact equal measurements on the bridge. observe how the bridge is accurate in every guitar should be because it's the most important part of the instrument means the distance between a string and a string should be equal so here we have a 1927 model and then bridge is perfect and here we have a Simplicio 1932 and the bridge is flawless here we have a Barbero 1945 model and the bridge is also same accurate. And here we have another Simplicio 1929 bridge is perfect as well. You see, it's very exact because when you play you get used also to flaws here if there is shorter or longer distance, that's not good. And obviously it cannot be a first class guitar. It doesn't matter what all people that follow like sheep's <laughs> concepts, uh, baseless concepts or stuff out there that someone said. But if you pick a ruler and measure, that's what it is. That's what I learned from Paco also. Then here we have uh, Santos Hernandez 1930, which is a top model, and bridge is same accurate. And then here we have another top model, Macero Valero 1948 and same accuracy and the most expensive model in AG which is the Simplicio 29 with the letter in this case L and this one here has the same bridge so if we compare this one here the top model with the less expensive model 1927 the bridge we will see this one here bridge is the same accurate here than in the highest model right so this is 
really blowing mind to me, right? The fact that that accuracy and, and quality and measurements is all in all the models, not just in some models. So this is very important. And then then the thing will be, for example, in a great guitar like this, Simplicio 1929 original, you can see a flawless bridge. So it's not that this thing of the past everyone did wrong before or something. No. Look, here is very nice bridge. And then we, we may be, see around mostly all the instruments taken as guitars of first class have problems on the bridge, and if the bridge is not accurate, Paco said that, cannot be proper. That's why he was all the time re-drilling and doing so many things to make it exact.